When will you get married? People have this curiosity if they would know or if you can find out from your date of birth about your marriage timing. Well, you are in luck. You will learn how to predict your marriage timing at the end of this episode. So stay with me. Hi everyone, this is Jaya Karam Chandani. Welcome to Invincible Passion Talk Show where every week on Wednesday and Sunday in English and Hindi, I share with you some new conversation based on numerology, astrology, vastu and my experience and insights. Today is all about on your request and I would say many requests to talk something about marriage. Well, this new series is all about marriage. Before I share, quickly hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you become part of our invincible family. If you are new to this family, welcome. If you are already part of this family, so I have a request to all of you. As we are growing, a lot of hard work goes at this end to make sure you get these new episodes every week. I cannot do it alone. I need all of you to come together as a family. I am seeing a lot of spam messages. I am seeing a lot of posts about with my face on it and the WhatsApp number. I want to assure you that I am never going to share my personal number. Neither anyone from my team will post the WhatsApp number asking you to contact. But if someone contacts you, please report them to YouTube, block them and stand up for spam. If you have joined our family, so you are very well aware that I have never shared my personal number, neither the team has reached out. So be careful on sharing your number and also entertaining someone who reaches out to you and posing as our team. So let's dive here on about your marriage. Are you ready and excited? Well, take out the pen and paper and write down your date of birth. Chances of marriage usually are in the personal year of 2, 3 and 6. And many times I have seen personal years 7, 8 and 9. So as you see on the screen, the date of birth Mark Zuckerberg is 14th May 1984. He got married in the year 2012. The date what I found the information publicly on social media was 19th May 2012. To calculate your personal year, you need to add your day you're born, the month you're born and the year you're trying to find out. So for Mark Zuckerberg, let's add 14th plus 5 plus 2012. 1 plus 4 plus 5 is 10 plus 2 is 12 plus 1 is 13 plus 2 is 15. 1 plus 5. As you know that in numerology, you have to reduce two digit numbers to single digit. So 15, 1 plus 5 gives you 6. So Mark Zuckerberg got married in his personal year that was 6th. As per the rule, usually if you see the indication 2, 3 and 6, there's a strong chance of you getting married if you're of marriageable age and you're willing to get married. Now what I'm about to share here, will that absolutely apply to everyone? Then no. Because there are a lot of factors that go into and that is what I call the superpower the universe. Numerology is a lot of intel and data you need to learn to put things together and try to interpret. Another rule as I said, a lot of people get married when their personal year is either 7, 8 or 9. So in the, this date of birth is of Bollywood actress Anushka Sharma. Her date of birth is 1st May 1988. She got married on December 11, 2017. So if you calculate her personal year for 2017, Add the day first plus month five, number in 2017. Add it up. One plus five plus two plus one plus seven. Total gets you 16 and one plus six is seven. She got married in her personal year seven. The next date of birth is again of the Bollywood actress Deepika Padukone. Her date of birth is 5th January 1986. She got married on 14th November 2018. Now to calculate her personal year, let's add 5th for the day January is number 1, first month and 2018. The total adds to 17 and if you add 1 plus 7 gives you 8. 
So that's personally a rate. So take out your date of birth. If you're eager to find out about your son or daughter, about yourself, or why not? If you're married, quickly take out and see, does this rule relate to you? As I said, will it apply 100%? No. Will it apply for many? Yes. So the next date of birth is of Akash Ambani. 23rd October 1991 is his birth date. He got married on 9th March 2019. Now if you calculate his personal year, 23rd October for the year 2018 gives you in the final digit number 9. Now as a bonus tip, what I have observed that the people who have in their date of birth the number 5, 7, 8 and 9 or and do not include the century number. So let's say 19th century, everyone will have 19, 1 and 9. We are not considering that. So if you have 5, 7, 8 or 9, either in the day or the month or the last two digits of the year, in that case is, I've seen, you should consider that you have those numbers. Those who have this 5, 7, 8 or 9 in their birth numbers, usually their marriage is delayed. Or I would say the marriage, usually they should go after 26. I have seen if they get married early, they are struggling in life. One way or the other, there are some issues or they go through the breakups or the separation. Now, does that everyone who has these numbers, they have gone through breakups and separation? No. But I have seen over my practice of 14 plus years in many, many cases. And that's what I say we gather data and then interpret and see how often that is repeated. Another thing I would say, so people get married in the personal year 2, 3, 6 or 7, 8, 9 as well. I always recommend not to get married in the personal year of 5. And the reason being those who have gotten married in the personal year 5, I've seen they have issues related to conceiving, having a child in their life. Either there is delay or they're not able to conceive or if the child is born, there are some health issues. Now again, does that mean if you're the one who went through marriage in personal year 5 will have that issue? No. This is something I want you to observe in your line, quickly in your life and quickly calculate and first of all, tell us here in the comments which year you got married. And if you're the one in the personal year 5, did you go through some of? of those sorts of struggles. This has been my observation and that is the reason I usually avoid folks telling them for marriage in the personal year 5. Well, again, this is all about understanding how numbers are with you in your life day in day out. The day you are born is not a coincidence. Each number is telling you something, wants to share something in your life. In this series on marriage, I hope you enjoyed what we discussed here. Do share in your comments. Find out, calculate in your friends and family how true this rule related to you or someone you knew or someone in your family. Marriage is an important event. If you also want to calculate other important events, I shared another episode just few weeks back on important events, but also do take a look at this video on marriage that I have shared some additional insights on why numbers and how the timing, even the age. This series, this is the first episode on marriage series. There's much more. There are many other ways you can interpret but I'm sure now you can predict the timing of your marriage because if you know your personal year, you will also know the actual year when there are strong chances or indications of you finding your perfect partner. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to share with your friends and family and I'll see you soon. Take care.